My name is Seaman Hurst with the Navy Honor Guard, a final tribute to a fallen shipmate. Today's service will consist of the playing of taps, the unfold and refold of the American flag, and the presentation to the family. We kindly ask during the playing of taps those who are comfortably able to do so, please, riot, please remain standing and place your right hand over your heart. Those who are current or prior service members, please render the proper hand salute. Let us begin. Will the recipient of the flag please come forward? Thank you. On behalf of the President of the United States and the United States Navy, the English, please accept this flag as our sign of appreciation for the most honorable and faithful service. Thank you.
Lots of stamp symbols. <laughs> to sit there and hear uh, her presentation and hear the quotes, I was just nodding in agreement the whole time. Uh, definitely the Kate that I remember and love and cherish, and I hope you feel the same. Um, in honor of that, <laughs> and Vaughn, that clap was for you, so. Uh, but something that was really bothering me, and, and that is the fact that Kate's not here, so we're going to change that right now. So. This is Kate. And again, if you remember anything about Kate, she loved hats. Uh, and the little boa would have just added to the excitement. So we're going to put Kate front and center where she belongs this morning to watch our little presentation. And the first slide, I think in a nutshell, definitely describes Kate. Uh, theme for life, motto for life, that laughter is, in fact, the best medicine. And one of the, my fondest memories by far of Kate is her laughter. So with that in mind, I have my helpers now. <laughs> Brit, you, you didn't bring me in. <laughs> With that in mind, we would like to share with you. Uh, laughter is the best medicine. Kate had a great sense of humor. Some of these pictures and stories are funny. Please laugh out loud and enjoy them as, as Kate would have, and she would have wanted us to. Thanks, and have a, let's have a great time. Kate was not typically a sports fan, but Kate, my mother, Proudly wore cheese head hats when the Green Bay Packers won Super Bowl. We're both on the side. The Munshaw family history is known as far back as 1670 to the present. The Munshaws came to the United States from Germany, or at least Europe, in 1805. Starting at the beginning for Kate, Auntie Kate grew up um, above her father's store called the Lunshaw Brothers General Store in Wisconsin. She was the oldest of five Lunshaw children. Kate Lee, Joan, Janice, Annette, not yet born yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
perhaps being the oldest trained her to be in charge. Kate, Kate enjoyed her teenage years, but she really wanted to help with the American efforts in World War II. Rosie the Riveter and Kate the Welder changed women's role in the workforce, helping America to victory in World War II. In Milwaukee, Kate welded tanks for the war effort. Last summer, Kate's great niece, Laura Jacobs, emulated her grand by working at summer camp and dressing up as Rosie. Laura won best costume for her efforts. Whoa, Laura, can you show us a flexed bicep, please? <laughs> When he turned 21, she joined the Navy Waves as a nursing assistant. As a wave, Kate obviously had chores. And this slide shows, not this one. Yeah, <laughs> this one shows, so it is. And this slide shows that on November 19th and December 1st, Kate was assigned to clean the head. <laughs> However, being Kate, uh, uh, always paid, uh, I'm sorry, me and Kate, she didn't always pay quite enough attention to her chores. And here's a note which says, your cleaning detail was sadly neglected. Check with me at noon when you have finished. Gelky. <laughs> After graduating from Ohio State, she worked four years as a civilian for the Army in Germany. In this picture, you can see her enthusiasm while boarding the train in Wisconsin to begin her voyage to Germany. <laughs> Kate was director of the service club providing entertainment for troops. <laughs> Time and they also had an open bar. And at the time, most of us, most of us were teenagers, and our parents were lecturing us not to go to parties with alcohol. So we really enjoyed the irony of seeing teachers from all around Modesto <laughs> coming to the party and dancing in the street and having alcohol. <laughs> Vaughn, you go, girl. <laughs> our parents had strict rules for their seven children. However, they were allowed many exceptions with Auntie Kay. No wonder. Exception number one. 
uh, don't play in the mud. Except with <laughs> Don't swim in the canal. Don't play with stray dogs. <laughs> Don't stay out late at karaoke bars. <laughs> All right, everyone with us now. Don't go to street parties with alcohol. <laughs> no wonder we all gravitated toward anti-K. <laughs> Um, so this is one of the last uh, pictures of the four surviving siblings. On the far left we have um, Janice, Joan, then Kate, and their brother Lee. Hoot, in German, were important to Kate. Over the years she collected a trumpful, which sometimes can make it difficult to find your hat. But luckily in Girl Scouts, Kate learned a song to help out. And you'll all need to help with this song now. Okay? So this is audience participation part. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Okay, now no my. Mm, hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. And had it not three, three corners, <laughs> it would not be. Mm -hmm. Okay, now no my, no hat, no three, and no corners. Mm -hmm. It has three corners. <laughs> and had it not, it would not be. So in Germany, a kindergartner starting school is given a horn of plenty filled with school supplies. Auntie Kay brought this tradition home to her 24 nieces and nephews. Who then continued the tradition to more than 60 grand nieces and nephews. And extended family and friends. And even one for Kate on her 80th birthday. <laughs> Kate enjoyed her senior years attending Gallo Performing Arts Center with Vaughn and her and hanging out with her little sister, Janice, aka Oma. <laughs> now if you look carefully in this picture, and this is an old Christmas picture, obviously. Uh, this is um, Kate, her mom, her youngest sister, Annette, who passed away uh, young, and Janice, mm -hmm. my mom. Uh, but notice in Kate's hand, she has a beer sign. In fact, there's a sign in the back today. So if you would raise your glasses to Kate. In the final toast, at Peter's Day. Until we meet again. Until we meet again.